Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, we're going to install the Kitty Terminal Emulator on a Chromebook. The first thing we want to do is enable the Linux development environment. So to do that, I'm going to click on my launcher here, and I'm going to find my settings, either by searching or finding the icon. And on the left-hand side of the settings, near the bottom, you'll see Advanced. I'm going to click on that to expand that tab, and scroll on down to where I see Developers. Here I'll click on Developers, and where it says Linux Development Environment, I'm going to click Turn On. That's going to start up a setup wizard for the Linux development environment. I'm going to click Next, and it's going to give me a username based off of my email, and then a recommended disk size. I'm going to change this because my Chromebook does have some more storage, so I'm going to up this. You can keep it as is if you want. Depends on how many apps you want to install and the size of your Chromebook. And once I change it, I'm going to click Install. And that's going to take a few moments to run ahead and install Linux. So I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once that goes ahead and installs, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to expand this and increase the size here so you can see it a little bit better what I'm doing. And I'm going to make sure everything is up to date by typing sudo apt get update and then two ampersands and then sudo apt get dist dash upgrade. And I'm going to use a dash y flag so I don't have to answer yes to the additional space. And I'll hit enter and let that run. Once the Linux development environment is enabled, we can install Kitty. To do that, we'll type sudo apt get install Kitty and hit enter. I'm going to say yes to the additional space and hit enter. Once that's run, I'm going to click on my launcher and then click on my Linux apps and I'll start looking for Kitty here. You'll see I've installed a bunch of stuff. Um, and I'm not seeing it pop up just yet. So if you don't see it pop up just yet, you can run Kitty from the command line by typing in Kitty. And here we go. We've got Kitty installed, and we can begin working on Kitty. Now eventually, uh, there you go. So once you run it the first time, it does pop up. You can then pin this to the shelf and open it that way. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you.